Hi everyone, this is Katie with Hillsborough County Communications and Digital Media, here to give you a quick recap from the Board of County Commissioners meeting on September 8th. Commissioners declared September 15th through October 15th as Hispanic Heritage Month. According to the U.S. Census Bureau, Hispanic Americans make up nearly 30% of Hillsborough County's population. Commissioners recognize the achievements of Hispanic Americans and the contributions that have positively impacted Hillsborough County. LULAC is the nation's oldest and largest Hispanic civil rights organization. And for the past 93 years, we have worked to advance the economic condition educational attainment, political influence, housing, health, and civil rights of the Hispanic population of the United States. During Thursday's meeting, commissioners approved using $16.2 million in American Rescue Plan funds to acquire and rehab Armature Place Apartments, a 96-unit multifamily rental property on Bush Boulevard. The apartments will provide affordable housing for low-income residents, making 80% or less of the area median income. Rehab on the units is expected to be finished in March of 2024. The board approved a financing plan for Hillsborough County's Housing Finance Authority's Mortgage Credit Certificate Program. The program helps first-time homebuyers save money each year they live in their newly purchased home. The program allows homebuyers to claim a tax credit for a portion of the mortgage interest paid per year up to $2,000 for the life of the loan. This is a Housing Finance Authority bond issue and no county funds will be used. Commissioners directed county staff to research options for a possible apprentice program targeting ex-offenders, aimed at helping them get the training needed to land jobs. Staff will explore partnering with the City of Tampa and review ways to strengthen Hillsborough County's hiring practices related to ex-offenders. The board has also asked staff to bring back possible ways the county can address and enforce interior mold complaints inside rental properties. The county's current code states that interiors of all buildings shall be kept free of any visible growth of mold or mildew. Some options to protect renters include updating the Tenants' Bill of Rights with mold resources, notifying the Tampa Housing Authority of client complaints, and providing violation notices to the Department of Housing and Urban Development. And commissioners received an update on the sale of Delta 8 hemp products. Since launching an educational awareness campaign back in March, code enforcement has visited nearly 200 businesses in the county that sell Delta 8 products. Staff found that nearly half didn't have the proper hemp food permit, but only a few had trademarked or improperly labeled products. Delta 8 products have been found in packaging that resembles popular snack foods and candies that could be appealing to children. As of now, code enforcement has not received any citizen complaints about Delta 8 products or retail sales to minors, but will continue outreach efforts to educate store owners and residents about the potential risks and promptly respond to any reported concerns. The next BOCC meeting will be on Wednesday, September 21st at 9 a.m. You can watch that meeting live on YouTube. Just search for Hillsborough County Meetings. And for more information on Hillsborough County services and programs, visit hcflgov.net.